Back in my twenties, I had a knack for spending money like it was going out of style. Saving and investing weren't even in my vocabulary. But as I hit my forties, I'm happy to report that times have changed. So in this video, I'll be sharing 13 things that I no longer buy now. I'm older and hopefully wiser. Recently, I caught up with a friend and we had well, a blast reminiscing about our wild party days. Ah, oh, your twenties when you have all the fun and none of the responsibilities. Responsibility. But ever since I hit the big 4 my perspective on personal finance has shifted dramatically. I'm now all about being smart with my money, building my net worth and planning for the future. So without further ado, here are the 13 things that I no longer buy in my 40s. First up, alcohol. Back in the day, I would go on all night benders all over the country. Me and a group of friends would go clubbing and spend loads of money on new outfits, tickets to get in the club. And that's before before we even had a drink, I had no responsibilities. So it was all about trying to look nice whilst having the best night out. I have very fond memories of these nights and still laugh about them, but there's absolutely no way I would spend all that money now. Age has a way of making you feel the effects of alcohol a bit more, and I don't just mean the hangovers. Next on the list is excess makeup. I used to buy every shade of eyeshadow and bronzer under the sun but in the end they collect dust in my drawer. I know what suits me now, I keep my items limited and I ask for any expensive items for Christmas and birthday presents. I also try to stick to the basics by focusing on taking care of my skin by eating well, staying hydrated and trying to get plenty of sleep. And let me tell you, it's been a game changer. Thirdly, I've stopped spending loads of money on my hair. Again, this was another luxury of getting it cut and coloured for well over 100 quid. Now, I just have it cut around every two to three months. And if I feel like I need a colour refresh, I spend five quid on a colour and I do it myself. Now, the most I'll spend on my hair on a cut and colour is 40 quid. Fourth on my list is fashion. I'm not going to lie. I love fashion buying clothes. It's always when we get into a new season that I get sucked in and get a big shopping urge. But my new go-to now instead of buying fresh off the shelves is Vinted and Depop. You can buy brand new clothes with tags and use filters so that if you aren't a fan of wearing second-hand clothes like worn ones, you can get brand new items. Personally, I don't mind if it's had a few wears as long as it's in good condition. You can still focus on the brands that you love. Zara is definitely my weakness. These sites are also great for special occasion wear when you know you might only get a couple of wears out of that dress. Number five, expensive gym memberships. I used to pay a whopping 70 quid a month for a fancy gym that I barely used and looking back it makes me cringe. Nowadays I prefer to exercise through activities that I enjoy like dancing or walking or pilates and if I want a structured workout then I go to Pure Gym which costs me less than 20 quid. But if you don't want to join a gym there's always YouTube or online fitness classes. Moving on, let's talk about impulse shopping. I'll be the first to admit that I've made some questionable fashion choices. Bright pink snakeskin pencil skirt, anyone? In my 40s, I embraced the concept of a capsule wardrobe, focusing on versatile quality pieces that can be mixed and matched to create loads of different outfits. I've learned what cut fits the shape of my body and which colours suit me. It's a much more sustainable approach to fashion and it saved me a ton of money. Now that I'm older, I've also also become more comfortable with who I am and that's led me to reassess my priorities when it comes to spending. So for example I don't feel the need to keep up with the Joneses or impress anybody with material possessions. Eighth on my list is buying things just in case. I used to stock up on items that I thought I might need someday only for them to just clutter up space and never get used. Now I follow a simple rule. If I haven't needed it for the past year I probably don't need it at all. This mindset has helped me declutter my home and save money by avoiding unnecessary purchases. Instead of having a big old mountain of things piled in the loft, I've sold things that I don't use on Facebook Marketplace. It's good for the environment, it's good for my pocket, and a declutter is good for the soul. Ninth, I no longer buy into the myth of the latest and greatest gadgets. Sure, it's tempting to upgrade to the newest smartphone or tech toy, but I've learned that most of the time my current devices serve me just fine. And by resisting that urge to constantly upgrade, I've saved quite a lot of money that I can put towards more meaningful experiences or investments. Number 10, stop buying bottled water. Not only is it expensive in the long run, but it's got a massive 
with environmental impact. Instead, I've invested in a reusable water bottle and a water filter for my home. Now, this small change has saved me money and reduced my plastic waste. It's a win-win situation. The next thing I've cut from my expenses are overpriced salads and smoothies. I've learned the art of meal prep, which saves me an absolute fortune on health food store markups. And now I can create my own culinary masterpieces, although my husband might disagree, and feel like a budget savvy Gordon Ramsay in the process. Who needs to waste money when you can make it at home? As I've grown older, I've become more health conscious and that means cutting out packaged and junk food. Of course, I still occasionally have the odd hungover McDonald's. Don't judge me. We've all got our weaknesses. But most of the time, I stick to fresh whole foods. I've learned that shopping the parameter of the supermarket is a key to healthier and more cost-effective eating habits. Number 12, I no longer buy lifestyle magazines. Now, Grazia may still wink at me, but I've realised they're just money pits and then they tempt me to buy things that I don't really need. Instead, I've shifted my focus to online articles, podcasts and books that are good for the soul. Now, let's talk about shoes, especially stilettos. Listen, they might look stunning, but they are a nightmare for your feet. Since my clubbing days are behind me when I used to dance the night away, I have embraced a more comfortable shoe collection. So I love a good flat, a combat boo, a flip-flop or trainers any day of the week. Carrie Bradshaw might have glamorised shoe shopping, but there's nothing glamorous about being broke and also having just deformed feet. At a push, you'll catch me in a mid-heel on a special occasion. As I've matured, I've learned that it's not all about looking good for other people or trying to keep up with the Joneses. Instead, my focus has shifted to genuine self-care, health and wellness, and just enjoying life's simple pleasures. Getting older has been a blessing for my finances and overall well-being because now I'm more in tune with my values. So there you have it, the top 13 things that I now longer buy in my 40s. Now it's your turn.